Yo, what's up guys, it's Technology here back here and today in this video, I'll show you how can you add a snake game on your GitHub profile homepage. Yes, the traditional snake game that was found originally on Nokia mobile phones. In case you haven't seen my previous video, just go and have a quick look at it. The links in description and on the i button as well. In that video, I have shown how can you get all these stat charts, graphs, buttons, icons and many more stuff on your GitHub profile homepage. This is my profile homepage and through this readme file, we have done all this. So just go and have a quick look at it. It would hardly take you five minutes. And in the end of this video, your final result is going to be a snake running over all these dots that are present on your contribution chart. Yes, it will fetch the dots from your profile and then a snake will come over and eat all of them. And this is how your final output is going to look like. Seems exciting, doesn't it? So let's get started. The first step is that you need to create a profile repository. In case you don't know how to make one, you just need to go to the repository tab, create a new repository and the repository name has to be exactly the same as your GitHub username. Remember it's case sensitive. Once in the repository, you need to create a new file. The new file will be named as readme.md. In case you are following me from my previous video, you might already have this file. Now over here, we need to create another file that is going to be for the workflow. So just go to create new file and then just add a directory dot github and pressing forward slash will take you to the subdirectory. Here create another folder called workflows. Move over to the next subdirectory and then create a file snake dot yml. Now in this file we are going to add code that is going to fetch data from our github profile, the number of contributions and then generate the animation. You'll find a link to my blog in the description. Just head over to this page. You'll find everything that you need in here. So the code that we need for the workflow is given here. Just select it up. It's still the skip CI copy, head back to this file snake.yml, paste and commit changes, create snake.yml and just commit it up. Once committed, now if you head up to your profile repository, you'll find a folder github slash workflows. And inside that folder, you have snake.yml. That's it. Perfectly done. Now head up to the actions tab. And on the actions tab, you'll see that snake.yml file, that particular workflow is in progress. It would hardly take a minute or two. So just wait until this one is completed. Once it is complete on the left, you will find a new action called github snake game. So just head up to the action and there we need to generate the animation file. So you'll see this line where it is written, this workflow has a workflow dispatch event trigger. On the right, there's run workflow. Select the branch to be main and hit run workflow. And now it shows that workflow run was successfully requested and the same has started in here. So again, take a rest for a couple of minutes until this one is done. And once it is complete, you will get this green check mark on here. And that's it. We are done for the workflow part. Now you can head up to the root directory of your repository. And now you will find that there are two branches on your profile. Previously, there was only one branch called main. Now you have a second branch that's called output. Head up to the output branch. And here you will find SVG files. If you open each one of them, you'll see that this SVG is nothing but the animation for your github profile repository. There are basically two files. One is in a dark theme and the other one is on a light theme. So you have two options to pick from which one you want to put on your profile. So yes, that's it for generating the animation. Now we need to add this animation to our profile. For that, you need to customize the readme.md file. So just open up the readme file from the top right, go to edit. It might be on the preview tab, switch it to the edit tab. Now head up to the blog that I have linked over there. You'll find step four where the next line of code is given. You need to copy this line, bring it to your readme file. Suppose I want to add this game animation at the bottom of my screen. So I'll just go to the bottom. But before that, I'll show you the preview. This is how my profile looks currently. The bottom part is the profile views. And after I paste this line of code for the snake game, here you need to make a slight change. You can see it's written your username. Update it with your actual GitHub username. And then again for the next part. Done in both places. Now head back to the preview tab. And there you can see that the animation has been added right next to the profile views. 
So that's it how you are supposed to add it. I want to place this thing above the profile views. So I just need to shift it a line before the profile views. And there it is, but there's an issue. It is slightly panned to the left and on the right side, there is a gap from the margin. So we can adjust that by using basic HTML. We just need a division where we set the division align property as center. And we can just put this line of code inside this particular division. And that's it. We'll go to the preview tab and see the gap on both the side margins are now equal. So that's it. Everything is perfectly done. So simply commit changes. And once committed, you can see the result. This is how it looks. And you can also head up to your profile on a new tab. And this is how your profile will appear. These things are there from before. And this is the animation that we have added. It looks exactly the same as our current contribution chart because the workflow is fetching data from our present contributions and then generating this animation. So yes, that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do for getting the snake animation on your screen. It will keep running on a loop. It depends on the number of your contributions that are present on the chart. It will determine the duration of this animation. If you're facing any issues, comment down, I'll help you out. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe as we keep coming up with such cool stuff every week. Thanks for watching.